public disorder. It's the third biggest issue in the upcoming presidential campaign. First is the economy. Second is illegal immigration being overrun now on the border. Third is public disorder. Now, that affects all of us. Even if you live in the mountains of Montana, the Bitterroots, or you're up in Maine near the Canadian border, public disorder affects you. Might not understand how, but it does. Um, and if you live in a large city, then you see it every day. Um, public disorder at this point in history in America is a progressive issue. The progressive movement has caused the public disorder. There is no two sides to that story. And that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. All right, Philadelphia, progressive town. Okay, police commissioner Danielle Outlaw has resigned, okay? And immediately she was hired by uh, New York City and stayed to be the head of the Port Authority. Perfect. So under Miss Outlaw, uh, property crime in Philadelphia is up 23%, car thefts up 105%, and retail thefts 34%. Philadelphia is out of control. It's not her problem exclusively. It's the DA Larry Krasner, a far left nut. He's a nut, all right? And he will not enforce the law. But Outlaw went along with it, okay? So she rode the crime wave up. She's out, okay? She comes to New York, perfect. Because New York City's police commissioner, Keechent Sewell, has quit too. That happened uh, some months ago. Did not get along with Mayor Adams. She's gone. So, grand larceny in New York City, up 19%. All other crimes are on the rise except for murder. So, the NYPD is doing a good job driving that down. But property crimes in New York, way up. And most people don't even report them because they know the police not going to do anything about them. There are police is under siege. There are 10,000 officers fewer than there should be in a city of 18, of eight and a half million. The police, you know, if you get ripped off, nobody's going to do anything about it. Cr criminals know that, and so do the victims. They ain't going to bother. So in St. Louis, <clears throat> another insanely progressive city, the DA there, Kimberly Gardner, was fired by the state attorney general. She's out. Why? Carjacking St. Louis up 325 percent. 325 percent. Robberies up 28. Shoplifting five. On and on and on and on. I'm not dealing with violent crime here. I'm dealing with property crime. OK, San Francisco, you already know. Chesa Boudin, recalled by the liberal voters in San Francisco, booted out. San Francisco, you can't even go there anymore. Robberies have increased this year 17%. Motor vehicle up 12%. On and on and on and on. Can't walk the streets. San Francisco. L.A., according to the National Retail Federation, is the worst city for retail theft probably in the world, because other countries enforce the law, most of them, not here, not in L.A. So Capital One, all right, the bank card, estimates that $87 billion is stolen from retail outlets every year. Okay, you see the uh, stat for 2022. The average shoplifter is arrested once out of every 100 thefts. So you have a 1% chance, if you shoplift, of being arrested. 9% of American adults shoplift. I mean, it's insane. Okay, why? Because they know nothing's going to happen to them. Flash mobs. All right, this is a West Coast thing. It's going to spread all over. So in uh, Home Depot, L.A. County, flash mob went in, 
stole $5,000 worth of merchandise in full view of the staff, customers, walked in, seven mass thieves, um, stole everything they could steal. No urgency, just took it. There it is, I didn't even run it. Okay, threw it into a van, drove away. Nordstrom, this happened last week. Two thieves, man and a woman, stole $4,000, okay, in Nordstrom's in Irvine, that's uh, south of L.A. No arrest no, for the robberies. No arrest. Okay, can't find them. Nobody knows there's a getaway car in Irvine. <laughs> you can't find them. Anybody looking out there? Anybody? The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Again, that's 866 866- 501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.